stiffness and strength when it comes to stiffness and strength it is very confusing because if someone said the material is stiff we think that the material is strong enough to withstand the force and support load without breaking but that's not the case a stronger material does not mean that it is a stiffer material a material's strength and stiffness properties are not directly related at all when a material is subjected to an external force the properties of stiff material may allow it to return back to its original shape but a strong material does not change its form it either resists the force or deforms permanently if the force is greater than the tensile strength this can be very confusing because resistance to physical deformation is the key part of defining both strength and stiffness let us dig into more details stiffness stiffness of a material is the measure of the material's ability to return to its original form after being acted on by an external load it refers to the material's ability to resist external forces and still return to its original form stiffness depends upon the modulus of elasticity also known as young's modulus we know that which is constant for a given material we'll see stiffness calculation to understand the relationship between the force and the deflection here you can see k is equal to f by delta k is the stiffness f is the force on the body delta is the displacement produced by the force for example here is a spring which is loaded by a force of and delta is the deflection and the k the stiffness of the spring can be calculated based on this let us see stiffness relationship to the elasticity elastic modulus is the property of a constant of the material but stiffness is the property of the structure or component of a structure that means stiffness can be changed by changing the geometry of the component here you can see the formula of an axial stiffness e is the elastic modulus or young's modulus a is the cross section area and length is the length of the element for bending stiffness stiffness equal to ei by l i is the moment of inertia of the body next strength strength is the ability of an object to resist deformation when stress is applied on a body strength equal to stress required to produce failure when a material is deformed it changes in shape in response to the force applied strength therefore refers to the ability of a material to accommodate force without breaking we need to make sure the design has adequate strength to resist applied loads or forces and retain its optimal shape in other words strength is the total measure of the capacity of the material to withstand the load placed on it before reaching the point of permanent deformation engineers often consider yield stress as strength what is yield strength yield strength is defined as the maximum stress a material can withstand without undergoing permanent deformation in the stress strain diagram the material first undergo elastic deformation and then undergoes plastic deformation the yield point is the point where the material undergo plastic deformation stress at the yield point is called yield stress that is the yield strength of the material in this graph you can see the yield strength and ultimate strength yield strength is the maximum amount of load the material can take before it's permanently deformed ultimate strength is the maximum amount of stress a material can withstand while being stretched basically the ultimate tensile strength is the highest resistance of the material to the external force by keeping in this mind we will see the real difference between the stiffness and strength stiffness is the ability of an object to withstand stress without breaking whereas strength is the ability of an object to resist deformation when the stress is applied stiffness of the material defines how a material bends to resist external force while returning to its original form upon to removal of the force whereas strength measures the stress or force applied to a material before it breaks or permanently deforms most solid materials displays a linear stress strain behavior within the elastic region because we know that stiffness is happening in the elastic region in the case of strength stress strain curve is a non linear in plastic region especially when we consider ultimate tensile strength in the case of stiffness material first undergo elastic deformation under the application of external loading in the case of strength plastic deformation occurs after it elastically deformed due to the application of external loading because ultimate tensile strength occurs in the plastic region in the case of stiffness 
Mechanical and metallurgical properties of the soldered material remain unaltered when it is elastically deformed. In the case of strength, many properties of the soldered material change considerably for the plastic deformation. But till the yield strength, none of the properties going to change because it is where the plastic deformation starts for the material. Let us see what are the design considerations to keep in mind when you consider strength and stiffness of a material. First, calculate the expected stress on each material. It is important to know how to test. It is important to know how to test the stiffness of a material. You can do this by measuring how the intended design responds to varying forces. Second, run test on a range of material before selection. Materials with a non-mechanical property should be tested for strength and stiffness with an external force. Identify important factors as you begin your design. It is important to identify factors that components that would be most important to your design. These factors may include uniform and impact loading as well as constant and concentrated loads. This is especially crucial at the beginning stage of your design when developing your design with a CAD software. Last, confirm the design's functionality before prototyping. At this stage, you probably have to use a fee analysis software to optimize the geometry of the design. This will help you to understand the behavior of the geometry on a given material when an external force is applied. These all are the basic information of strength and stiffness. It is important to understand the real difference between the strength and stiffness to, to choose the right material and uh, right geometry of the component. Thank you.